Is Easter Jeep Safari still an event worth attending, or has it just become too crowded, too commercialized, and lost its charm? Well, I spend the next four days in Moab, Utah during the 2024 58th Annual Easter Jeep Safari event, exploring some of my favorite trails in the area, adventuring deep into the heart of some new ones, get behind the wheel of a few Jeep new concepts, catch up with some old friends and hear about their Easter Jeep Safari experience, and I take Doc on the hardest trail yet for him. I'll share my thoughts and experiences along the way about EJS and let you know if it's an event still worth attending and if I'll be going back again in the future. If you're not familiar with Easter Jeep Safari, it's a long-standing event that has been going on for 58 years, where thousands upon thousands of off-road Jeep enthusiasts come together the week before Easter to tackle some of the best trails in the nation, enjoy some good camaraderie, and just be part of this incredible off-road community. There are a couple ways to be part of this event. Many choose to sign up for the guided trail runs put on by the Red Rock Four Wheelers, while others prefer to venture off without a schedule and the slower pace of being with a larger group. I enjoy it all, and while I have a pretty full schedule this week, today is my free day, so I'm gonna head up to one of my favorite easy scenic trails in Moab, Onion Creek. It's about a 30 minute drive out of town to get to the trailhead, but let me assure you it's one of the most scenic drives in the area. You travel alongside the Colorado River as it twists and turns its way through these beautiful canyons along Highway 128. There are dozens of trails that branch off from this road, so most that come to Moab will enjoy this drive. I made sure to download my maps for offline use before I came here from home using Onyx Off-Road because once you hit these canyons, you can expect to lose cell signal fast. So being able to navigate without reception using Onyx can be easily done. Along the edge of the river, there are many campsites and early in the week of EJS, I noticed that there are still several unoccupied. But in just a few days, I can speak from experience, finding a campsite can become very challenging as there are more than 20,000 people that attend this event. I found that for EJS, I just prefer to stay in a hotel in town or an Airbnb. But if not during the safari, I love camping out here and I've found some incredible remote spots over the years. You just have to put in a little effort to find them. Okay. Just a few more miles and I should be to the trailhead and time to hit some dirt, or in today's case, mud. I absolutely love Moab, Utah. I don't even know how many times I've been here over the years, but every time it's an amazing experience and to come out here and see this incredible beauty and hit some awesome trails is just something I love doing. Now, over the next couple days, I'm gonna go explore a little bit in Moab. I'm gonna meet up with some good friends. We're gonna check out some stuff with Jeep. We're gonna have a little events. We're just gonna have a great time and I wanna take you guys along and show you really what Easter Jeep Safari and Moab are all about. If you have never been out here, what are you waiting for, guys? This place is gorgeous. All right, let's go have some fun.
Welcome to Onion Creek. As I mentioned, this is one of my favorite easy scenic trails in Moab, and every year I try to take some time to come visit it. I've probably done this trail a dozen times over the years, and truly, it never gets old. It's unlike any other trail that's out there, with its majestic, towering, dark, rich, textured walls and sculptured canyon peaks. They're just breathtaking. The trail is easy enough, and you cross the Onion Creek many times along the way. And typically, the creek stinks of sulfur, hence its name. But today, possibly with the rain, it smells fresh and clean out here. The trail is only about 11 miles long one way, and you can choose to do as an up and back or continue on to either the challenging Rose Garden Hill Trail or make your way back towards Moab on the moderate hideout road. I ran into a few folks today and they turned around because at the end of Onion Creek, the mud got slick and greasy, making it almost unpassable. So we'll see how things go today before I make my decision. You all know I don't care for mud. Onion Creek does get narrow in a few spots, but nothing that should create any anxiety. Just be cautious as there are many blind turns along the way. Because Easter Jeep Safari hasn't officially started, there were only a few folks on the trail today, but I imagine in about 48 hours when Easter Jeep Safari is up and running, there will be lots more traffic out here. That's why I'm doing this one today. Today is kind of my free day. I've got a pretty busy schedule over the rest of the week, so to be able to come out here solo is a great way to settle into Moab. I know many people don't like to off-road alone, but this trail is easy enough that it makes it safe to come out here as long as you're prepared. I prefer to enjoy trails with friends and family, but sometimes it's nice to come out here and be alone with your thoughts. Turn off the radio, allow your mind to wander, listen to the tires crushing along the dirt, watching the rock formations pass you by, and just finding a little peace. All too often we are bombarded with constant simulation in our lives, work, people, cell phones, TV, we don't allow ourselves to have some time alone. Some of my most creative ideas come from just cruising along the trail and freeing my mind. This is what trail therapy is all about for me. to a lot of great people out here on the trail today. And I gotta say, Onion Creek, while it's an easy trail, it's probably, hands down, my favorite easy scenic trail in Moab. If you have never done this trail, you absolutely need to come out here. All the water crossings, these just textured, dark red walls, it's just a gorgeous trail. There's really nothing else like this out there. And, uh, and, I, and I try to hit this trail every time I come out. Now. I want to talk about something that's uh, pretty exciting. Finally re-geared the Gladiator. So I went with 488 gears and I am so happy with it. It performs so well, not only on the trail, but just the long drive out here on the freeway. It was a significant difference. Very, very happy with how the Gladiator is coming together, guys. And it's going to be fun over the next couple days to, uh, to put it through its paces. We're just doing an easy muddy trail today, but we're going to get after it a little bit while we're out here. 
Let me just quickly mention that I do have a full detailed video of the Gladiator regearing process that I'm working on. And I'll talk about why I chose this gear setup, the pros and cons of regearing, the installation process, and more. So stay tuned, that video is coming soon. Okay, back to some more trail action. Thank you, very relaxing. Oh, <laughs> Take care guys. Have fun brother. Have a good one man. I mentioned that this is uh, mostly an up and back trail. You can keep going. There's a big loop that actually take you all the way into town. And I was running into a buddy who was coming the other direction and him and the person he was with, Jeeps were just covered in mud. And he said, man, it's a hot slimy mess out there and uh, you may want to rethink it. And I thought, you know, I'm out here by myself and uh, I really just wanted to come see the canyon. I didn't want to do the full big loop anyway. So I'm turning around and enjoying the canyon once more on my way out of here. Now, uh, tonight uh, is a very special opportunity. I get to go sit down at a round table with the new head of Jeep North America. Now I can't take the camera in there, but I've got some good questions for him and I'm excited to kind of hear what he has to say and uh, maybe I'll report back tomorrow on how that goes and tomorrow should be another fun day of exploring Moab and uh, I'm supposed to meet up with uh, somebody y'all might know so looking forward to that. Once again Onion Creek did not disappoint. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, hardcore rock crawler or an overlander Trust me when I say you will enjoy this trail if you take your time to slow down and soak it all in. Now, with my mind cleared, it's time to head back to Moab. I did make one stop along the way at the Ford Bronco Off-Rodeo headquarters. When I owned my Ford Bronco a few years ago, I kind of kick myself now for not have taken advantage of one of these events. They seem to have put together a great community building training evolution that I think lots of beginners and even novices can benefit from. And when you have an incredible location like this to teach them at, well, I think Jeep needs to step up their game here in this department. As I make my way back, I'm filled with excitement for what's to come over the next few days. Tomorrow, I'll be meeting up with my good friend Sean from the Story Till Now, who I've hit the trails with many times over the years, and we always have a great time. I'll also be meeting Will from Venture to Rome for the first time, and we'll all be heading out east of Moab to explore the San Rafael Swell, a place I've always wanted to visit. So I'm really excited about this, and I will just say it doesn't disappoint either. The next day, Sean and I join with the Jeep team to get a close-up look of their new concepts, take them for a spin, and we even get to drive, very aggressively I might add, the new 2024 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. I'm excited to be able to share my thoughts on how it performed. The next day I team up with Northridge 4x4 and Bill Stein as we take a group up to Poison Spider Trail, a 7 out of 10 rated trail that will be a great challenge for Doc since he's only running 35 inch tires. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of the adventures that are still to come here at Easter Jeep Safari. Thanks for watching.